Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will make live data search application by using Vue JavaScript with PHP and MySQL database. This is one more tutorial on Vue JavaScript framework. And here we will build live data search filter application with PHP script. In this application, User can search MySQL table data from this application without refresh of web page. Because here we will use Axios for send Ajax request. Data search functionality is the basic and required feature of any application. For this things here we have make this live data search application by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database. And in this we have one sample table. In this table we have already inserted some data. So we will search data in this table. This is our index file, and in this file we have already included Vue JavaScript library and Axios package link. Now first in this file, here in this division tag, we have write id attribute is equal to search app, by using Vue JavaScript library. Content of this inner tag will be affected by Vue JavaScript and outside content will not be affected. Under this tag, here we have write input type is equal to text, class is equal to form control and input small, and in placeholder attribute we have write search data. In this tag, we have write we model directive is equal to query and at the rate key up attribute is equal to fetch data function. So when we have type in this search box, then it will called fetch data function. Below this, we have make on HTML table with two table column like first name and last name. We will fill data in this table. Now we have go to view JavaScript code part. And here we have write application variable is equal to new view object. Here we have create root view instance. Under this, we have write element option. With division tag id search app, it will takes the id of the html dumb element. Next we have write data option, and in this we have write all data variable is equal to blank value, and query variable is equal to blank value. Now we have write methods option. And in this we have write fetch data method with callback function. This function will fetch all data from database and display on web page. Under this function, we have write axios.post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write action.php file. It will send request to this file. In second argument, we have write query variable, and in value we have write this dot query, it will store value of text box under this variable. Next we have write then callback function. This function will be called if Ajax request has been completed successfully. Under this function, we have write application.all data variable is equal to response.data, 
Here we have assigned data to local all data variable. Now here we have write table row tag. And under this tag we have write we for directive is equal to row variable in all data variable. By using this directive, we will fill this table with data. In first table column, we want to display first name details. So here we have write to curly bracket. And between this, we have write row dot first name table column name. In second table column, we want to display last name table column data. So here we have write to curly bracket. And between this we have write row dot last name table column name. Now when user has searched data in search box. And that data not found in MySQL database. Then we want to display no data found message under this table. For this, here we have write table row tag, with we if directive is equal to no data, if this directive value is equal true, then only it will display content of this tag on web page, otherwise it will not display this tag content on web page. Under this tag, we have write table data tag with call span is equal to 2 with text message like no data found. Now we have go view javascript code, and in data section, we have write no data variable with false value. After this, under then callback function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response dot data dot length value is greater than zero, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we want to display data under table, so here we have write application dot all data variable is equal to response dot data variable. It will display data on web page. Below this, we have write application dot no data variable is equal to false. It will hide no data found message from HTML table. But suppose above condition false, that means no data has found from database, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write application dot all data variable is equal to blank value. It will remove all table data from web page. After this, we have write application dot no data variable is equal true. It will display no data found table row data on web page. Now when page has been load in browser, then we have to call fetch data function. For this here we have write created callback function. Under this function, we have write this dot fetch data function. So when page has been load in browser, then it will call fetch data function and it will display data on web page. Now we have go to action.php file and here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password with blank value. After making database connection, now we have to receive data from ajax request. So here we have write dollar received data variable is equal to json decode function. Under this function, we have write file get contents function, 
and under this function, we have write PHP input. It will receive data in JSON format, and by using JSON decode function, it will be converted into PHP array object. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar received data variable with query variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it has received search data request. And under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table, where first name like dollar received data with query variable or last name like dollar received data with query variable, order by ID in descending order. But suppose above condition false, then it will receive request for fetch all data, and it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table order by ID in descending order. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under condition. We have write dollar query variable, it will start make query for execution process. After this, we want to execute above query, so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute above dollar query variable query. Next we have write while loop, and under condition, we have write dollar row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method. Under this method, we have write do class with fetch asoc method. It will return row of data, which we will be get by using dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row variable. Here we have store row of data under this dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to send this dollar data variable data to Ajax request in JSON format. So for this, here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and under this function we have write dollar data variable. It will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here view JavaScript live data search with PHP code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that when page has been load in browser, then on web page, we can see that Data has been load in HTML table, and above table, we can see text box for search table data on web page. Now from the list of data, we want to search data, so in text box, we have start write in text box, after type table data has been filter without refresh of web page, which we can see on web page. But suppose particular query data has not been found, then on web page we can see no data found message on web page, and when data has been found then that message has been removed, and we can see search data on web page. So, in this video tutorial, we have make live data search application has been built by using view javascript with php script and mysql database if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box 
or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also.